Hello everyone, in our previous video lecture we have discussed about the concept exception and we have seen try, catch and throw statements. Now let us discuss it further with exceptions that are thrown from functions. So here I am having one function called that is test1. I want to monitor this code. So I am writing this code inside try block. I want to monitor this test function. That's why I have written that function call inside try block. Whenever I call this function, control will move to function definition. Instead, I'm checking if x equal equal zero, then I'm going to throw some exception. Let's say x else I'm displaying one message no exception over here so whenever I call this function control will move to function definition inside that we are checking the value of x if it is zero then we are going to throw exception whenever exception is thrown we need to catch it so let us write catch block with argument integer and we are going to display message let us execute this code right now I am passing value 1 so it will go to else part and it will display no exception but if I write test with argument 0 and I execute this code first of all it will go for no exception for argument 1 but I am passing 0 in next function call it will check x is 0 and it will throw integer exception and it will be caught by here catch block and it will display exception quote message so in this way you can throw an exception from any function definition let us move further next let us discuss multiple catch example here i am having same function test with argument x i am checking if x equals to 1 we are going to throw x that is integer else if value of x is 0 then we are going to throw some character exception and if value of x equal minus 1 then we are going to throw some float or we can say double exception so we are having three types of throw statements one is throwing integer value one is throwing character and one is throwing float or double value so for all these throw we need to write multiple catch statement so let us write for first so here first catch block having integer argument it will handle the code whenever integer exception is thrown now next catch is for character argument if character exception is thrown it will handle the code for that and third catch is having double argument and it will handle the code when any double value is thrown so in main if i call test function with integer argument that is one it will throw integer exception and it will be code over here and it will display quote and integer next i'm calling test function with argument zero and if it is zero it will throw some character exception and it will be code over here and it will display quote a character next i'm calling test with argument minus one and it will throw double exception over here and it will quote over here and display quote a double value thank you